welcome to my channel. I'm Lorena, Lorena Creole, and I am here at Epcot for the kickoff of the Festival of the Holiday as well. Wasn't here exactly for the kickoff. I'm here a couple of days later, but everything is in full swing. And for me to kick off this festival, I am going to try out one of the holiday kitchens, and that would be the Nochebuena kitchen, which is Latino flavored foods. Now your girl is of Afro-Latino descent, so I'm very interested to see how the food there is gonna taste compared to the way your girl makes it at home. But before I get started with this video, please do your girl a favor, hit that subscribe button, and then once you do, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified when your girl has hot, fresh content to enjoy. So you guys ready to check out the kitchens? I'm excited. chorizo tamale um i don't eat fake meat so skipping the impossible thing i want to try the pernil which is the mojo marinated pork with tostones and ketchup mayonnaise i have to see if that pernil is as good as my own and the alfajores i'm probably saying that right over the floridano spanish accent Vanilla shortbread cookie with dulce de leche, coconut, and coconut, ooh. Ooh, so caramel and coconut. I'm so down, so down with that. And probably to top it off, I'm gonna try the chai ginger mule. That looks so, that, that just sounds delicious. So I'm gonna try that. Now your girl is not a fan of mayo ketchup, so I'll be interested to see exactly how this preparation tastes. And of course I have the coconut and dulce de leche uh, alfajores. I believe I'm probably murdering that, but you know, my heart's in it, in the right place. <laughs> so that's a delicious cookie right there. Or as the wonderful cast member from New Zealand that the Noche Buena Cucina called it, a biscuit. <laughs> biscuit has a whole different type of meaning in the South, but I love the fact that he said biscuit. So from the Commonwealth, you got to call it a biscuit. And I have the ginger chai mule here. Oh, all I know is it's got vodka in it and it's got a lovely, lovely cinnamon stick that's in it. Takeaway cup, as I like to call it. I love the fact that they did this. Plastic, nice replica of a mule, a mule drinking glass. This is nice to take with me. And that was, so this was 1050. Um, I believe this was four seventy-five, and I think this was five bucks. Either way, all together, twenty dollars. 
gonna be a very special Christmas. With you and me, believe me, oh, we'll be together to make this Christmas light. Merry Christmas. Okay, so I know a meal is good when I forget to video it for you guys while I was eating. So I finished all of the pernil. Um, it's, you know what? It is as good as mine. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> not even gonna lie. Mine is um, a little bit more, um, I would say mine has a little bit more heat because that's just my addition, but the perennial is good. I have to recommend it. It is definitely, definitely worth it. And frankly, um, a half-assed perennial in Florida would just no, just no, just would not work. Again, very good. Um, the tostones, I'm really not a fan of tostones, but because they're kind of bland, but can put that with the perennial and it's a perfect combination. So definitely do not miss this. The mayo ketchup, I wasn't too sure I would like it, but it's pretty good, I have to admit. So perhaps it's the perfect mix of mayo and ketchup. I guess maybe two thirds mayonnaise and one third ketchup, I'm guessing. But it was delicious, combined perfectly with that. The chai ginger mule that I tried here, of course it's got like the, you see it in that little cinnamon stick. It's good. Definitely taste the ginger. I was hoping maybe a little bit more chai spice, um, but it didn't detract from my enjoyment of it. It's fresh. It's light. Uh, very good. Has vodka in it, and, and I swear they put an extra splash of vodka in there. So if you did, Disney cast member, thank you so very much for doing that. Uh, it's very good. This is probably one of the best value for money drinks that I've had at a festival here at Epcot. So again, this is the chai ginger mule drink. I have to drink it slow because I can taste the uh, taste the alcohol in it. And then of course, here's the cookie, the Algathoris, which they called it, but frankly, this is a shortbread cookie with caramel and coconut in it. At home, I make something called a um, mantecadito, which is Spanish shortbread cookie. That's exactly what this tastes, what this is. Tastes great. The coconut is like, coconut's around on the outside, but this is good. It's like a sandwich cookie, like uh, two cookies with the filling of caramel in it and the coconut all around the outside. So, very nice presentation. And I highly suggest getting this one on the cookie stroll because yes, it is one of the cookies that counts on the cookie stroll. So, stamp number one for me. Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna tell you, I think they put some extra vodka in this sucker because <laughs> I'm really feeling alcohol in it. And usually with the drinks at Epcot, um, they usually are pretty light on the alcohol, so. Maybe it's because of the holidays. I don't know, but thank you to the No Chip Way in the Kitchen for hooking me up with a little bit more alcohol than usual in the uh, ginger chai mule. Just my perception. Your experience may vary. I hope you all enjoyed the video that I've brought to you. To recap, the portion sizes are very small, so do not expect to fill up on one entree. I mean, frankly, if I was at home, I'd be embarrassed to serve that small a portion of per meal to someone, but for a theme park, eh, that's what they're gonna do. So for the price you paid, I still think it's kind of expensive, but remember, there are some people who would never try per meal else, elsewhere unless they came here to do it. So remember, it's not cheap to eat at Festival of the Holidays, but for what I got was absolutely 
delicious. So you definitely do not want to miss the Noche Buena Kitchen if you are here at Epcot during the Christmas holidays. So folks, with that said, we're gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.